Hey guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Avengers vs. X Men issue 8 AVX. So let's see what's going on with this issue. Um, good cover, um, really explains everything that goes on in this issue. I actually really do love the art for this, you know, the fire and Namor is all. Um, uh, so, um, uh, I do like the cover. Um, the art is so much better improvement from that John Romita Jr. stuff we got over there. So, um, at least now the art is really improving, and, um, yeah, I actually like the cover, but let's see if I like the story. Um, in this issue, Namor fights everybody. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, so not much really happened in this issue. Um, I thought we were gonna get a little hope in this, but we didn't really get that. And that's something I feel like they should concentrate with the Avengers vs. X-Men, um, is Hope and Scarlet Witch. And I feel like, yes, we're getting those little tidbits of those two characters, but are we concentrating on them? No, but that's really what we should concentrate on. That's what's gonna make this story arc good. Um, like I said, nothing really happened. Um, it showed that, oh, okay, the Avengers need, they need everyone in the Avengers to defeat Namor. We show that Namor is an asshole, and I hate Namor, and I never, like, I actually never really liked Namor's character, but now, like, seeing this, I hate Namor even more. Like, that's why I realized in this issue, I'm like, but why would I, like, if I'm gonna read something, I don't want to say I hate this character even more than I do, unless he's a villain, even though he's a villain hero, but, um... I don't want that. I want to say, oh yeah, this character, well, I understand why he does the things he does. Um, but I hate Namor. And now he's in, there's, there's only two characters I really hate that are heroes, okay? There's Colin, oh, I love these characters, blah, blah, that, that's the good Colin, the bad Colin. Cyclops and Namor. Those are only two I really hate. So, um, he's now on the list. After this issue, that's the one thing I realized. Namor's on the list of people I hate. And I don't hate that many characters. I really don't. Um, some characters I'm like, ah, I don't really, I'm not really interested in reading them, blah, blah. But characters I actually hate, Namor and Cyclops. And that's what this issue recognized. Because all this issue is a fighting issue. Um, again, the one good thing is good art. That's a good thing. Because when we had those really crappy issues with um, John Romita and Jean's art, it's like crappy story, crappy art. So, but at least we get good art. Um... And then we realize, okay, Avengers can't defeat Namor. Fine, they can't defeat Namor. How are they going to defeat these four people? We understand that Avengers are, like, you know, they don't have everything on their side. You know, they they um need a little help. You know, we understand that they're not the strongest people. I mean, they are the strongest people, but they're not the strongest people in this battle right now. You know, Phoenix is a little bit stronger than them. Um, we understand that. We understood that from, like, issue one, you know, or, or at least when they became the Phoenix Five. Um, so we didn't need to prove that in this issue, and that's exactly what they do. It's really not a great issue. Um, for me, the art is really good, I would say. Art, really, really good, but it's not worth picking up. Again, unless you really hate Namor and you love hating on a character, then you're gonna love this issue. But other than that... Really, these are one of these issues where the Avengers just fight and fight and fight and fight and nothing happens, nothing progresses, and that's exactly what happened in this issue, nothing progressed. And, um, there's a couple issues in the past, like issue 7, I think it was issue 6 maybe, um, like those little middle issues that are like, those are pretty good, you know? This is what I wanted with Avengers vs. X-Men. And now we have an issue like this where it should be, if you're going to have a fighting issue, just put it in the Versus comic. If we want to see fighting, if we want to see those type of things, put it in that type of comic. That's what that comic is for. And if you really don't have that much story to say, you want to leave the best story for last and just have that, you know, big um, story that supposedly Avengers vs. X is supposed to have, then... You know, make this series a little bit shorter, you know? Um, it's 12 issues this series. There's been about 5 issues of crap. Bad art, again, from the beginning. Um, you know, bad story. All they're doing is fighting. Leave out those issues. Make the freaking series a little bit shorter. That's all you gotta do. Um, but don't make, don't make me hate a character. And don't make me put, like, a character that, again, I don't have that many characters I hate. And I have two characters now that I hate because of this issue. I don't like Namor because of this issue. I don't like him. Him and Cyclops, and they're both in this issue. So I'm not a big fan of them. You know, I mean, I still have hope for Avengers vs. X-Men because, again, they have this potential of hope in Scarlet Witch. Something's going to happen. You know, the Phoenix, what's going to happen? Jean Grey's coming back in Marvel now. How's that going to happen? Potential, yes. But why leave it for the last issue? You know, cut this down. Make the last issue come a little bit sooner. Don't have a 12-issue series. Don't have to have 12 issues. It could be a really good five issue mini uh yeah five issue mini series big event series don't have to have 
a 12 issue um, big event, all they want to do is make money. You know, we're waiting and waiting. We want a good story. We want a good story. All right, five issues of fighting. I want a good story. You know, five issues of fighting. One good story. Um, so that's really what I'm disappointed about with this issue. I did not love this issue. Art was good. There was that thing saying that Avengers are not strong enough, proving that in this issue. That was good. But there's a lot of things I hated too much to say that I would say pick this up. So I'm going to say I'm going to give this two stars. Yeah, I should have given a little bit lower, but I've given Avengers vs. X-Men a little bit lower in the past, again, because of the art. But this was good art. It had some stuff in this issue that might be worth picking up. Again, showing that Avengers is um, not up to par for the Phoenix Five. Other than that, nah, not a good issue. Um, so I give it two. I say don't pick this up again. You want to read Avengers vs. X-Men like me? I'm one of those people that just like... Like, I'm actually, like, when I open it up, this is usually the last comic I read in my, like, list. You know, when I get my comics, it's the last one on my pile. Sometimes I'm like, you know, what, what is Avengers vs. X is going to give me this week? You know, and then I read it, and I'm like, sometimes it's like, wow, this actually really improved. This might actually be good, uh, be a good event and better than a fear itself. And then when you read it, there's sometimes, like, issue 8, where, in this issue... Wow, what did I just read? Wait, nothing. I read nothing. I wasted $4 to read a big fight and show that Namor is not a really, you know, good guy. You know, we knew that. I, he's, I'm not a big fan of Namor anymore. But, um, yeah, so I say don't pick this issue up. I give it two stars. I know I ranted a little. Like I say, I don't rant that much, but when Avengers vs. X-Men comes, I'm like, I gotta rant a little, you know? So, um, this was kind of a ranty review, but I hope you guys enjoyed. It's like, I just don't want you guys to pick up a bad issue. I've been really trying to get you guys to really pick the good issues of Avengers vs. X-Men and really get those issues that really were really good. So, um, I gotta, like, warn you guys when there's just fighting, this is just fighting with Namor and Avengers. That's all there is. But, um, I'm gonna tell you guys which issues actually progress the story. That would make me actually, like, say, oh, I picked up issue zero, which was really good. I picked up issue, I think, was six or whatever it was. Um, you have to, like, watch my previous reviews. But, like, those are the issues you should just pick up. And then you got the whole story, which were actually good and you didn't waste your money. Especially if you want to save money for this, um, event, but you actually want to pick up this event. Um, that's what I'm gonna try to warn, um, you guys for, um, in my Avengers vs. X-Men reviews. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this comic, you know, guys, don't forget to follow me on um, Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rand Situations. This is Comic Uno. Hope you guys enjoy. I say don't pick it up and I give it two stars. This um this comic book. Bye guys.